hello students welcome to our youtube channel experience tutor today we'll discuss class 11th physics system of particles and rotational motion chapter 7 ncert solution part 5 please subscribe like and share our channel please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded by us so that you should not miss anything any of our videos in the last session we have discussed 7.20 question number 7.20 today we'll start with 7.21 a solid cylinder rolls up an inclined plane of angle of inclination angle of inclination is 30 degree at the bottom of the inclined plane the center of mass of the cylinder has a speed of 5.5 uh, meter per second how far will the cylinder go up the plane b how far how long will it take so first is how far the distance and second is how long will it take to return to the bottom so let us see the solution so this is some number 7.21 now let us write the steps step 1 one we'll write the summary summary means we'll write what are given in the sum and summarize the sum if any figure can be drawn we'll do that so in the figure we can see a solid cylinder rolling up an inclined plane and the angle of inclination is 30 degree so let us see uh, let us write all the given values here so initial velocity of the solid cylinder say v is equal to given 5 meter per second and angle of inclination is theta is equal to given 30 degree height raised by the cylinder is equal to h so height height is equal to say h now energy of the cylinder at point a so we can write here so these all are given here now in step 2 step 2 what we are going to do equate the kinetic energy rotational rotational kinetic energy with kinetic energy translational trans in step 2 we will do this fine let us carry with the step 2 now now so at energy at point a energy at point a so at point a kinetic energy rotation is equal to kinetic energy translation translation 
so kinetic energy rotation is equal to half i omega square kinetic energy translation is is equal to half m v square now in step 3 we will equate the kinetic energy at b is equal to potential energy at a or kinetic energy uh, so kinetic energy at a is equal to potential energy at b so let us do that so we can write potential energy energy of the cylinder at point B is equal to so potential energy we know that it is mgh fine now we can write we'll use the law of conservation of energy here so using law of conservation of energy of energy we can write half i omega square is equal to half m v square is equal to mgh fine N now now we'll put the value of moment of inertia in this equation so we know that moment of inertia moment of inertia of a solid cylinder of a solid cylinder is equal to uh, i is equal to half m r square where m is the mass and r is the radius of the cylinder fine therefore if we put this value here in this equation in this equation then we get half bracket half m r square omega square plus half m b square is equal to m g h which is equal to 1 by 4 m r square omega square plus half m v square is equal to m 
g h now now we'll put the relation we know that that v is equal to omega r so we'll put this v is equal to omega r hmm, in this equation so we'll get 1 by 4 m here if we put we'll get it as v square plus half m v square is equal to m g h we can take out m common and the equation and it will cancel both the side so the equation will be 1 by 4 v square half v square is equal to g h so upon solving we'll get upon solving we'll get 3 by 4 v square is equal to g h therefore h is equal to 3 by 4 v square by g now putting the values here 3 by 4 v's value is 5 5 upon 9.8 we get 1.91 meter so we get the value of h now step so this is step number four i think uh, we have to check it yeah step four step four so step four will find the value of a b so how we'll find the value of a b it is very easy in triangle abc abc we have sin theta is equal to is equal to bc by ab put the values sin 30 degree is equal to h by ab therefore ab is equal to ab is equal to 1 point so ab is equal to h upon sin 30 degree so h value is 1 h value is uh, 1.91 upon sin 30's value is 0 0.5 half that is 0 0.5 and upon solving we get 3.82 meter so answer we can write hence the cylinder will travel will travel travel 3.82 meter up the inclined plane
up the inclined plane. Step five. Five. Step five is uh, we want to find the velocity of the cylinder. Find uh, velocity of the cylinder. cylinder at the start at the instance when it rolls back rolls back to the bottom goes back to the bottom so this is given by the below relation you have to remember this relation so this can be find it out by the formula 2 gh upon 1 plus k square r square so under root so where k is the radius of gyration now therefore we can write v is equal to v is equal to 2 g a b sin theta sin theta instead of h we can write that this from triangle abc so k square by r square half again for solid cylinder for solid cylinder cylinder we know that k square is equal to r square by 2 so v is equal to two g a b sin theta upon 1 plus 1 by 2 whole square uh, half to the power half so upon solving we get a value which is equal to 4 by 3 g a b sin theta to the power half now step six we got the velocity now we'll find the time step six time taken to return to return the bottom time taken to return the bottom we'll find now so this is just we'll write t is equal to time is equal to distance upon velocity so just to put the formula a b and the velocity in the last step whatever we got for velocity we'll put it here 4 by 3 
फोर बाई थ्री जी ए बी साइन टीटा साइन टीटा हाफ नाउ अपॉन सॉल्विंग वी कैन गेट थ्री ए बी अपॉन फोर जी साइन थीटा half now put the values now all the values are known to us put, put the values of a b g theta so 3 so so put the values of a g and theta upon solving we get 4.6 19.6 half par half which is equal to 0.764 seconds therefore therefore the total time taken taken by the cylinder to return to the bottom is to multiply by Point seven six four one point five three, which is equal to one point five three. Answer. and this is the end of today's session please subscribe like and share our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded by us thank you very much for your support